I'm Michelle here at Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I have a Monday haul for you and we are having a horrific storm. So if you hear some thunder booms and I kind of jump, that's why. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> anthropomorphic shelf sitter apple one and uh, i paid a dollar for it it was half price i'm really glad i did because and this is funny but not really funny i had put the shelf sitters over on my shelf by the door kind of just waiting till i get around to listing them they look really cute there and my girlfriend d from living the good life had sent me a comment saying oh i love your shelf sitters and literally two minutes before she commented I slammed the door shut and one of them fell and broke and this one will replace it. I'm going to show you where they're sitting right now and then I'm going to move them because I think they're a little too close to the door. I'm always on the lookout for cool mugs and I thought this one was very cool. It was marked 59 cents and then it was half price. It's in wonderful condition. You can see right here at South Fork Ranch, Dallas, Texas. I don't know about you, but I remember the series Dallas. I watched it faithfully every Friday night, 1985. Oh, excuse me, paid about 30 cents for it. I'm gonna ask about 10 for it. I don't think it's ever been used. It's in display condition. This was marked 59 cents and purple at the Salvation Army. That day was actually 75% off and I probably would have paid the full 59 cents for it. I just think it's really cool. It is a waiter professional corkscrew. It's made in Italy. It has a nice vintage look to it, obviously never open. And I thought I would just keep it. It might be a fun thing to have, but they sell for about $20. So I think I'm going to list it. I have never found any Fiesta Wear glasses anywhere I've ever gone. So I was really excited when I found these at the Salvation Army. I paid 75 cents each for them. They're not very old. They're Fiesta coordinates. They're Homer Laughlin, obviously Fiesta Wear Homer Laughlin. The pattern is called Peacock. They came in all sorts of different great colored ring colors. And uh, these are 16 ounce high balls. You can tell they're barware because barware is usually heavy and has the weighted bottoms right there. 16 ounce, six inch tall tumblers. I'm gonna ask $40 for the set. I personally have never seen Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I know there's a lot of fans out there. The smug is in great shape. It's a big one, it's 20 ounces. Mark 59 cents at the Salvation Army. I got it on Senior Citizen Day, so that means an extra 25% off. I'm gonna ask $10 for them. I only found this one plate, but I picked it up anyways. I paid 40 cents for it. You can see on the back, it is Harker China. I had just picked up some Harker China. It's Whitechapel, and Whitechapel's the line and not the name of the pattern. The pattern is actually HAR161, and they were out of Liverpool, East Liverpool, Ohio, as you can see right here. I'm gonna show you how pretty the pattern is right there. It's got a beautiful floral pattern, and it had, this is one of the reasons I wanted to get it, just to show you and be able to say it correctly. It has the Pat Sir Pat edge on here. Last time I had said it, I think Pate Sir Pate, so forgive me. This 10 inch plate, this um, this design, the Whitechapel HR 116, they produced them in the 40s and the 50s. It's part of the Royal Gadroon line. This is Gadroon right here. That's what this rope trim is called. And they produce that by um, painting layers upon layer um, of paste on here. And then they would actually carve them out. I'm gonna ask, I think $12 for the plate. It's in beautiful condition. 
I just wanted to clarify one thing I said about Whitechapel. Whitechapel is actually the name given to the whiteware in the Royal Gadroon series. I had um, a couple, more than a couple, but a little while back I found those gorgeous teal plates. The same thing, they were teal, they were called Corinthian, but it was all part of the same Royal Gadroon line. Paid 40 cents for this gorgeous ball. I just fell in love with it. It's the Flamingo China line um, of the Nancy Calhoun Company. It was made in Portugal. It's lemon yellow. It's actually a cereal bowl. To me, it's a huge cereal bowl. And to me, I would use it as a little mixing bowl. I just love the colors. They came in lots of different colors. This one being lemon yellow. They produce these between 1998 and 2002. They sell for about $15. They're very similar to Fiesta Wear. They would go very well with Fiesta Wear. You might be familiar with this back pattern. It's not marked anywhere, but it is Anchor Hawking, 1950s Fire King, and it is in magnificent condition. It is thrifted. I have thrifted it, but I thrifted it a while ago. It's been sitting in my closet. I've been trying to clean stuff out. I'm going to put it right there so you can see how gorgeous it is. I think I originally paid about four dollars for it. I just love the fact that it has its original milk white anchor glass label on there. So obviously unused in mint display condition. I'm going to list it for maybe 25 or 30 dollars but if anybody here is interested in it get a hold of me and um, we'll drop that price for you. Back in the 1940s and 50s, Anchor Hawking referred to as Anchor Glass. You can tell it's old if it says Anchor Glass or older. Any day I find a Pyrex Opal Wear Fridgy Dish is a good day. I found this one at the Enjoy store. I paid $2 for it. There is a little chip somewhere here on the lid, but uh, that's okay because I'm going to keep it. It's in wonderful condition on the inside. It's in wonderful condition on the outside. It is not one of my favorite colors, but it's got a really good story behind it. This is in the Autumn Harvest pattern, 1980. And this was actually, Autumn Harvest was actually the last refrigerator um, dish set to come out. This pattern was the last one. The larger one is a rust color and it has the wheat design on it. Um, the second larger one, was kind of an orangey and it had the wheat pattern and the two smaller ones are this caramel or orange or rust color. They sell for about $9 on eBay. I know I have a lot of mugs in this video and this is the last one you're gonna see. I got this at the Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for it, it was full price, but I thought it was really cool. It's a Maxwell House mug. And obviously, it's a Super Bowl mug in the shape of a helmet. And it's Super Bowl 1996, and this is the Sun Devils. I don't believe they won that year. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows, you can let me know. Paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask 10 I love tin, and this is no exception. Look how pretty it is. This is a hand sign beverage tray or appetizer tray made by the Nashco company out of New York. It's 12 inch tin tray like I just said. They produce these between the 1920s and the 1950s. They are repros of English and French 18th and 19th century tea serving trays. I uh, paid a dollar for it. I didn't ask about 15 for it. I paid $1.99 each for these, and I don't know why I picked them up. I think they kind of remind me of pattern. I think I actually had this pattern back um, back in the 1990s. This is April, false graph. April's a pattern, 1993, obviously a spoon rest and a creamer there, both in wonderful condition. I think I'm gonna try and sell them off as a set and ask about $12 for them.
These are marked 59 cents a piece. These beautiful Franciscan Desert Rose cups. They are two and a quarter inch flat cups, they're called. They were marked 59 cents a piece, like I just said, but they were half price, so I got both for 59 cents. Um, the back stamp is the England back stamp, which dates these between 1985 and 2003. And the pattern itself was designed by an in-house Franciscan artist named Mary Winnens. I'm gonna ask $8 for the both of them. I found another Fiesta glass, although it's totally different and I didn't find them with the other glasses and actually it's not a glass, it's plastic. It's an insulated tumbler. It's um, 16 ounces and the pattern is called Lapis Calypso. They made a bunch of different patterns. I've seen some with um, tops on them. I'm not even sure this one came with a top because nowhere, anywhere I looked, I did not see this one with a top. I know some of them just came as coolers, 16 ounce coolers. I thought the word Tervis, which is what it says on the bottom, um, meant nothing to me. So I looked it up. It means health. So that kind of makes sense. So to your health. I paid 30 cents for it. I was going to kind of keep it for myself. I still might, but uh, they, they sell for about $8. So we'll see. This gorgeous spoon rest was marked 50 cents and then I got my 25% discount off of it. I know nothing about it. On the back, it simply says made in China. It could have been made last year. It could have been made 20 years ago. I just love the pattern and the colors are gorgeous. Well, I was able to find some restaurant wear again this time. This is Homer Laughlin Best China. And it's an oval platter in really nice shape. The back stamp dates it to uh, 1992 onward. The pattern is called 4118 and it has a really nice blue line right here. This is called a verge right here. If you see the lines that run inside of the um, rim, not on the outside, separating kind of the inside and the rim, that is called a verge. I'm gonna ask, I think, um, eight to $10 for this plate. Not a plate, it's a platter. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment and we'll see you again real soon. Bye. Who doesn't remember, um, who doesn't remember that? Farther than these. These have the English mark on the English, the English. Damp, damp, the back, back damp, 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 damp. damp. damp.